What's up guys? Welcome back to RimWorld where it is actually warming up just a little bit. It's it's getting close. It's getting close to 50. Uh, I think to maybe take advantage of this what we're going to do is plant large growing area up here of corn and see if maybe we can get a a large pile of corn in a large bushel. I know it's like isn't it like a bushel of hay, but I think it's also maybe a bushel of corn as well. Um, maybe uh, Everything is in a bushel. A, a bushel of tomatoes? I don't know. I don't know these things. <laughs> we got the elk, uh, the female elk, the male elk over here is consuming grass. Um, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and set up a an area. Um, hmm, I'm going to say a new area. No. New animal area. And I'm going to rename you... Uh, maybe maybe barn summer, and I'll rename Muffalo Pen to barn. Okay. So then let's go to manage allowed areas, barn summer. It's gonna be in here, and then you guys can uh, you guys can kind of wander around. My throat just made a really weird noise. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that. Uh, we're gonna say you guys can you guys can wander around and eat any grass and stuff you find that way you don't always have to eat the the hay I provide you although you'll probably enjoy it there's a personal shield up here is that good not really it's not really super great at the moment uh, and then I'll go ahead and set the animals up to barn summer Emerson of course can stay unrestricted once killseek gets his uh, his animal skill up a little bit higher then we will of course be putting Emerson with killseek but for right now, Odie's the only one that can use him, so maybe he'll he'll help Odie if Odie ever gets rushed at some point. Let's get that going. What is what is Killseek doing? He's planting trees. Hopefully we'll get some trees going. Alright. Uh, we need to go ahead and get a, a proper kitchen up, so we'll probably work on that this episode. Uh, at least expanding this building down. Hopefully we can purchase some wood. Um, I guess we can just use stone for this back part, uh, but we'll expand this building down and then wrap it around this way. I don't know what we're going to do with this whole area over here. Um, we might end up using all of it for food storage, but for right now, I think that's going to it's gonna be pretty nice because it'll help us defend our power generation and also give us a safe, safe way to like wall off. Maybe we could just like put a wall going up here and then use the building as the rest of the wall for this side so they either have to come around up here or they have to come around over here we do still need to wall this area off as well so the oh muffalo number two's it's gonna wander around outside oh that's good muffalo number one is uh still still pregnant still pregnant um are we getting any parkas made how's that one that one's lady shy's working on one okay um, we do have a trade beacon in here, right? I, I remember, yeah, we built it up here in the back. Okay. And I'm aware we still need a research project. I am aware of that. We have this steel wall over here, which I'm going to have them deconstruct. Not that. <laughs> I'm going to have them deconstruct that, and then we will move these somewhere. Pirate merchants. Odie, why don't you give them a call real quick? Since you're here. Uh, we'll sell we'll sell the Molotovs and frags. Sure, get a little bit of silver coming in. Um, the medicine we're actually getting some some herbal medicine coming in right now, so that's okay. Uh, I kind of want to buy this prosthetic leg. I like having these on hand just in case we need them. I like having the leg on hand. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, got one of those. I guess I'll go ahead and just deconstruct this as well. That is limestone, right? It is. Thankfully, we have limestone. Uh, we need to make a new stockpile up here for our uh, our slag and such. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Um, we'll say right here for right now, since it doesn't actually interfere with uh, the turbines. I'm going to clear everything, make it, make it important, and say you guys can put the chunks here. Alrighty, good times. You got this, Winnow. You you gave up on it too early, Winnow. Just a little too early. Power over here is doing a pretty good job. Cargo pods coming in. Lots of Labrador fur. Always sad. 
this area right here would have been amazing to build in. If we were, if we had all our stuff further down here, I know I could have moved. But look at all this fertile ground. We could have made like two large growing areas, possibly three growing areas, taking uh, advantage of this. And we have two steam geysers right here. This one would have heated up this whole room. That would have been nice. The only issue is it, it wouldn't be super defensible, I don't think. See, no, we could have we could have made a, a perimeter wall along this line, and then brought it up to here, and then probably over here, and just taken this bottom corner. I like where we are though. We have a, a pretty good thing going on right now. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. All right, we do still need some sort of defenses on this side. Animal Doc is sad. I'm sorry, Animal Doc. I'm sad with you. Uh, the animals don't. Oh, we got we got elk number two. That's good. Training needs to happen for you. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, architect zone growing area. Let's go ahead and get a growing area up here out front. Uh, we'll get a a large cornfield, I guess, just to see if we can get some corn coming in. Uh, it does take a long time to grow, but it gives you a lot of food. So hopefully it'll work out. Um, our other food supplies are holding pretty well. We have a good amount of berries stocked up. We have our meal cap. Um, we also have rice coming in while we still have some, which is good. The hay is is working pretty well. Um, Zeragum, we're getting there. We have the herbal medicine. All right, so this is set to corn, and I want to set another one up. Do we want to get more hay? Just a little bit more hay coming in. Um, maybe we'll get some potatoes. Like a little patch of potatoes or something. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Like, If we get this corn, we're going to have a ton of food. We're going to be set. We really need to get food storage up. Um, we're going to put a growing area over here and just fill it with hay for right now. That's going to keep uh, Killseek pretty busy, but I think it'll be worth it. Let's go ahead and deconstruct these guys. What is this? Our butcher's table. We just have it set to do forever. Even animal corpses make stone blocks. Uh, doing slate first, and this should be all up to 250. That's good. Okay, so we'll get that going. We'll deconstruct that. Um, that we will end up moving up top. This area is no longer cool enough to store meat, unfortunately. This elk has gone crazy mad and is going for ghosts. Ghost, you must defend yourself. Winnow. You must defend ghosts with them. Oh, wait, no, this is probably a bad idea. Winnow. Melee attack the elk. So far, ghost is winning. Come on. You're in severe pain, ghost. Elk number two is wandering around inside. That's excellent. I feel like, I feel like you should run. There you go. Um, I'll set... I'll set this one as medical and this one as medical. And then Lady Shy can sleep right there. Good job, Killseek. Muffalo number two came out here. Didn't help at all. Didn't help not even a bit. Alright, so we're growing some hay. I thought I told it to go all the way down here. Hopefully this will get growing. All right, who do we have? Who do we have growing right now? We have uh, Killseek, and then we have other people doing it if there's nothing else to do. That's fine. Uh, he should be able to take care of all this, especially since we have haulers set up. Uh, low food, low medicine. That's not good, but we should be great because we have rice plants, or ri well, rice plants. I guess the rice will be done soon. Uh, Ghost is sleeping it off. Just some bruises. He got patched up pretty well. All right, let's uh. Continue working on this area over here. Let's go down to structure. Actually, let's probably plan it out. Uh, so we're going to bring this probably all the way down to here, I want to say. And then over this way. And I want it I want it kind of long. Even if we don't use the entire area in, uh, in the beginning, I, I do want it kind of long. And we'll build a little wall up here as well. Uh, and then I guess for right now we would probably only use this area for food storage, so we'll lock it off there. But in the future we can uh, we can bring this down here and use that for something else as well. 
uh, and we'll keep our solar generation and our wind turbines in this area. Is that going to leave me enough room to get another wind turbine up? Ooh, it's not. Um, I guess I can move the turbines forward. I could also bring this wall out some. Okay, cargo pods, that worried me a little bit. Um, they need to go two under where that is. So, like, here's where the wall needs to be for us to put another uh, turbine there. Uh, which we can, I guess, just do this. Human leather. So we'll have this, this kind of large room right here for our refrigeration. Um, and then we'll have this for future refrigeration, future storage, something like that. Uh, I know it's a little boxy, but we don't really have much that's super boxy. I guess the housing in this. I think it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and get a slate cold snap. That's not super good. Uh, let's go ahead and get this area walled in, and then we'll get this section made because we, we could really use the food storage right now. This, I'm not sure what else to, to do with it. We could always put a cooler in there, but that seems like a little bit of a waste just to have this area. Uh, I guess this could only be for for human meat that we get. Um, we'll say no meat unless it's human meat. Make it critical, and I guess we'll put it in here because we're probably going to be getting some some raids or something, I would imagine. And then we can put an AC unit in here uh, for the summer, I guess. What are these cargo pods? It was that right there. Cold snap. That's not good. It means we're not going to be growing anything outside anymore, which wasn't getting planted anyways. Uh, these plants are all ready to harvest, which they've been getting harvested. Okay. Um, I had someone ask me if the plants just died. Plants do have a lifespan, uh, so I'm assuming that means that they die if they live for that many days. Which, you know, is what lifespan means. <laughs> it's how long they live for. Uh, so, yes, your your crops can die if, uh, if you don't harvest them soon enough. So keep that in mind whenever you're planting a lot. Make sure you have enough people to do what you need to do. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these areas over here. We should have enough blocks to get this whole section up. We should. Playing horseshoes, I would rather if you did a little bit of work, but I guess you, you need a little bit of joy. Man, that joy meter goes up fast when you're playing horseshoes. Um, this building up here, I was thinking we could extend it a little bit, but I don't... I kind of wanted to keep the, the same basic shape, maybe. Maybe we'll just open it up like that. We'll... Yeah, we'll bring this up a little bit. Um, we'll have our cooking stuff in the back over here, and then we'll have an eating area up front. Um, I think that... That'll be pretty good. And we should have enough wood to get that going as well. So let's go ahead and there it is, wood. Let's get that happening. Uh, we still need some more houses. That way, uh, Shy and Doc can have a, a house. <laughs> um, and I still kind of want to remove this light, but I guess I'll, uh, I don't know. Eventually the stockpile isn't going to be this close. It's going to be further back. So I don't necessarily think it'll hurt if we make it a little bit smaller right now. It's now summer. That's good. Um, we're going to mine this out. We're going to do miscellaneous and other tool cabinets. Um, so that can connect to it, but I don't want it to. Maybe I need to build a bench first. Let's go ahead and get our wall here. Mm, miscellaneous. No, production. We need another stone cutters table. We'll put that right there. And then I want to put a door here. Go ahead and get a steel auto door, I think. Because he's going to be hauling stuff in and out. You know what? I I don't mind them having to wait for the auto doors for the crafting room. It's not like they're going to be in a hurry. So I think it'll be okay. Um, and then we'll get rid of that little zone area up here as well. Alright, summer, low medicine, poor mood, the animal dock is sad. That makes me sad, animal dock. That makes me sad. Alright, let's open this baby up. This is going to be for food storage, so let's go ahead and... Uh, what do we have up here? This is kind of like an everything storage? No. So we have animal products, vegetarian. Um, I have been warned, make sure you don't store fertilized eggs in your food storage. Otherwise you'll get chickens that will hatch. And, uh... <laughs> 
and it's not good. They'll eat all your food, apparently. Uh, so this is going to be everything but human meat. And we're also going to put our meals in here, so we will copy this. Let's go ahead and make a new zone. Um, and we'll, we'll do this. The reason I'm leaving this open is because I like leaving them like a little tiny area to walk and also I think we're going to put uh, the butcher's table like right here and then we'll actually have a door here. So let's do that as well. Butcher's table is right there. So we'll get that going. Get a door there. I guess I'm, I'm used to modded where I I need to just deconstruct a wall first um, instead of just building a wall or building a door over the wall and then them replacing it. Right, so this we're gonna paste it and rename you to pantry as I like to do. Um, and then over here we will have our cooler. Again I don't need to deconstruct this wall. It will automatically do it for me whenever I choose to place a cooler over it. This is getting opened. Uh, let's see, is that helping at all? Space average sized. It's, it's a little bit better I think before it was average. Um, but it's it's not going to be as cramped. It's pretty rich inside. Mediocre impressiveness. Uh, I think we're going to put this somewhere else. I just I don't know where. Maybe we'll have a proper comms room uh, over here in this area. What am I thinking? I need to move this whole wall down. Don't I? Or did I do that already? Yeah, no. I need to move that whole wall down. We can't build anything right there. I don't know what I was talking about. Um, I mean, we can have the wall, and then we can build either solar generations over here, solar generators over here, or just have this section be food storage. Um, we still have enough blocks to expand the wall a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Slate blocks. We have almost just enough to get to right here. We have exactly enough to get to right there. Alright, so we're going to get that set up. We got this workbench getting made. We need steel. We're, we're not out of steel. Okay, we're not out of steel. Miscellaneous, I want to get this tool cabinet up uh, over here, but I guess we got to wait until that workbench is done. I don't know if they can connect. Uh, I guess you could always uninstall it. I guess I... Can I... Okay, you couldn't have uninstalled this, so that's, that's fine. Knowing that, that's fine. Uh, so we'll put this here. Wait. No? What happened? Tool cabinet. One workbench can be simultaneously linked to two tool cabinets. Okay, I think whenever I put this here, it like leached. It took it away from the tailor's bench. Unless a tool cabinet can go to... Oh, it can go to multiple benches. Oh, that's cool. So one bench can only have two cabinets, but cabinets can go to multiple benches. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I'm going to just cancel this for right now. Let's go ahead and set up the bills again real quick. Stone blocks, stone blocks, details. We're going to say, just go in, in your tiny little area. I don't want you hunting for blocks. Do until you have... I'm going to up it to 500 right now. Um, and this one's going to be only slate. And then... I don't remember what the other one was sent to now. It doesn't matter. Uh, actually, that one's going to be everything. Um do until you have 500 okay cool so we'll get blocks made that'll be helpful uh, food can go in there and medicine can go in here as well we have medicine um, also I think we have items in here like the the thrombo horn and stuff yeah I don't want those in here um, manufactured is gonna be medicine I'm gonna go ahead and delete this zone that way they'll get everything moved in here this area can go down to negative 16. I'm going to say negative 16 just because I'm not going to make an airlock to go in there like I normally do. Um, visitors. I feel like I need to move this down a little bit more. <laughs> I'm going to. There. That's still plenty of room for us right now. It's, it's okay. This meat cellar needs to get increased a little bit. Um, and then we will get another fridge over here, which we could even use to heat this area up. Let's uh, let's try that out. Then maybe we could get away with just taking out one of the heaters. Let's try that. 
bulk goods trader, visitor, uh, animal doc, call the bulk goods trader, please. What do we have going on? We have gold, which we could save because we can build the, the thing that will increase research speed, so we might do that. Um, I kind of want to buy a little bit of your wood, just so we have some wood on hand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell you the granite blocks that we have. Steel we can mine. We're okay-ish on medicine. We're, we're fine on food. Mm. We could sell the, the elk that we just got. Those aren't... Those are worth a good amount. Um, and we don't really need them. What can we do with them? Maybe uh, attack elk? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to sell the elk. This is actually a pretty good way to get money. Uh, just tame a bunch of animals and sell them all. You just got to make sure you can take care of them first. Uh, so yeah, we're going to put that in there. Or do that. We're going to make that happen. Is our sow pregnant again? I'm just curious. It is. Wow. Pirate merchants coming over here. Ghost eating inside because we don't have the table set up yet. Uh, prosthetic leg. Power claw. Psychic Soothe Pulsar. I wanted to say Pulse Soother, but I didn't... That's not right. Uh, <laughs> uh, we could start growing some hops. Alright, let's get uh, let's get some steel mined. I know we have this steel right here. But I don't... It's part of our natural wall right now. We're still getting this. Let's go ahead and get this. We'll get this as well. That'll happen. Um... I think this wall we're also going to expand. We're going to straighten it out. Mad animal. I'm going to turn the turrets on real quick. And we're going to see a local squirrel has gone mad. It's actually right there. Lady Shy is just like, I'm leaving. Kill sec. Kill seek. If you could go stab the squirrel. Or it'll get shot. That's okay. Hunting with turrets. Always great. Always, always great. This elk, I don't know what happened. We need to go ahead and set up our bill butcher creature. Uh, do it forever. Even human like corpses. Radius of, I'll say 60 for right now. Alright, let's get that going. We got the blocks getting made, which is good. Um, I'm still unsure about what I want to do with this area. It would make sense to have more food storage uh, closer to the cooking area. I guess since I opened this up this section up what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make a little airlock right here just to keep it a little bit cooler um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a steel I mean I, sh I feel like I should use auto doors for these because they're gonna be carrying food back and forth but I mean them going through I don't mind them taking an extra second to go through uh, so we'll get that going. We're going to need to move this down here. Can I just uninstall you? Nope. Alright, so what do we have? We just have simple meals, only vegetarian and animal products. Okay. Production, cook stove. We'll put, I guess, just down here. Like that. This will get made. Um, I'm just going to... Yeah, we're going to expand the food storage because I like having this little walkway area for them that's clear of food and that means I'm deleting part of the storage zone you of course do not have to do this I'm just doing it because uh, I am me <laughs> maybe we'll put a little light here in the corner next to the, the AC unit that way it's not dark while this person's butchering we'll just put a light right here okay so that'll help out this is taking 200 watts of power. I'm curious if there's like a middle ground. Nope, there's not. It's like, look, I, I'm either on or I'm off. <laughs> okay, so this up here, we're using these metal tiles. I kind of want to switch over to maybe like limestone or something. Let's deconstruct this wall. Killseek is training Emerson. That's good. Uh, what's your animal skill at? It's at six now. Okay, cool. We can put Emerson with uh, with Killseek. Awesome. Unfortunately, Odie, that means you don't get uh, a pet anywhere. I'm gonna take the muffalo off. 
I'm gonna take the muffle off. Maybe we'll get some some dogs or something that we can tame. Uh, we could always get some bunnies. There's some just free steel hanging out up there. Hmm. Zoom out a little bit. I mean, maybe we'll get wolves. Do we? I don't really want to tame the bunnies. Are we out of hay for you guys? Oh, that's not great. Storage preferred. What is this? This is critical. Did it? I don't think it went bad. I guess they just ate it. Is it gonna be grown soon? This will be grown tomorrow. That'll be grown soon as well. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to just having a small area. Yeah, we're gonna have just a little... Oh, deleted the whole thing. Excellent. <laughs> we're gonna have a little area like this. And I'll make it important. And it's just gonna be the hay grass. So we'll put hay in here. Can hay go in here? Probably. It can. Alright. So they'll put it in there first, and they'll put it over here. And we have a raid. Unfortunately, guys, I just looked at the time. That's going to wrap up this episode, and I just completely misclicked out of it. Or not misclicked, but quickly quick click. Wow. Quickly clicked out of it to see what it was. Uh, but it's okay. I'm about to record the next episode anyways, which I guess I'll see what happens, but you guys won't. Uh, which I feel is a little bit unfair, but I'll watch the video and I'll see if they're going to sap or anything like that. Uh, we do have a frag grenade guy. Um, we have steel shivs, lots of survival rifles, two snipers, which is a little scary. Um, but if they come this way, we have a, a decent amount of cover. Where'd my switch go? Okay, well I'm just going to reconnect these. I guess I accidentally deconstructed the switch. <laughs> is this room bigger? I'm curious. Uh, it is now rather spacious, so that's pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll put the comms console here, and then have a nice table like here. We'll have a brewing area over here. Leave this area for research, and we need a proper battery section as well. Um, and we are going to expand the freezer. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to have this raid. We're going to handle them real quick. Uh, and then probably just keep on working on the construction, which is going pretty well so far. We had the elk. We sold the elk. That was a, a decent amount of silver coming in. Uh, we're still on the lookout for some pretty good weapons, which i got to remember that. Uh, we need to make a couple more bedrooms. And I, I don't know if I want to leave them, like, just do a group of four. Uh, and then have another one, like, right here. That could work. Um, or put another one over here for right now. Not sure. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.